All right, folks, Chris Waters here with a demo for Xenoclash 2. I'm joined by John Harden from Atlas, and he's here to punch, kick, and otherwise maim his way through the strange, strange world of Xenoclash. John, welcome. Hey, good to be here, uh, and if we're really lucky, I will get a pile driver in on someone too. Excellent. No promises. It's good to have goals. Uh, so, for those folks who don't know, Xenoclash, a first-person melee combat game set in a strange, surreal world, uh, and Xenoclash 2, pretty much picking up where that one left off. Yeah, Xenoclash 2 starts about a couple months after the first one ended. Uh, the main character Guts kind of bummed about everything. Uh, Golem has thrown father mother in jail, and he's uh, the best of the townspeople are pretty pissed off that Golem and his cronies are hanging around. Mm -hmm. He's drinking away, and then this uh, kind individual wants to... Uh, do something about it. He so wants to start some stuff. You immediately start the game getting thrown into a fight. With and oh wow, did you have talons on his feet? That's he did. There. I think I skipped oh. the cutscene where you can see his. Uh, let's see if I can get behind him real quick. Work the he's jaw. Gonna, he's he's pretty nimble. Was he throwing dirt at you? Yeah, he's got he's got some. Oh, he's got cronies. He does have cronies. It didn't really need to do that, but that's okay. We'll dispatch with him quickly. Oh, work that rotator cuff. Bam. Uh, Ace Team, if you're watching this, I practiced the combos that you sent. I'm just not that great at them. <laughs> Ace Team, of course, the developer of Xenoclash. And that chicken leg man went down. That's not an accurate, dis you know, physiological description. But now you're going to take on Alfred E. Newman and his friend. Wow. So you're getting double teams. This is not a... Well, that was like a haymaker. It's, my, it's a dodge attack. You can block, which I'm obviously not, can't be bothered with, but you can block, move to the left, and then bitch slap. <laughs> nice. Can or, you can you grab grab environmental things like a wheel of cheese? You can't grab environmental things. There's uh, some weapons you can pick up. There's a mallet. There's some guns. Uh, oh! Got a little bit of slow motion there. There's an that enemy nice. behind me. Yeah, that dude tried to sneak up on you. Thank you Let's on screen see. prompt. If I have enough uh, special meter, I should be able to... Which you're just kind of estimating at this point? Yeah, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, the two-fisted oh, smash. missed it. I missed oh, the, you missed the whole thing? I missed thing. the combo. Oop, there's the, the <laughs> Jackie Chan. Oh, oh, gosh. Yeah, what's the, you say the Jackie Chan, I mean, what sort of, you guys have a fight choreographer working <laughs> down at Ace Team on this? Yeah, uh, it's just, uh, you know, their imaginations of awesome, crazy melee action with messed up face and wolf pig man over yeah, here. Yeah, you've definitely, it looks like you've given him a shiner so far. This guy on the right, is that, the ed enemy characters reflect a little bit of the beatdown that you deal him out? No, they, um, or that's he just, just he, worse for he's just naturally dude. ugly. Yeah. Oh gosh, this is like some kind of bipedal rodent man. There we go. Or I guess boar? Wow. That, see, the nose looks like a real sensitive. There we go. We got the sensitive point. The uppercut uh, or the hammer fist uppercut combo that going. That was pretty solid. And so this is just pretty much simple combinations of clicks and like a little key press here and there. Yeah, uh, space bar will block, and you can use left and right to dodge. And then it's just left and right mouse button for uh, left punching and right. kicks. Uh, PC, obviously. Oh, this guy wants some too. Uh oh. Ooh, headbutt. Uh, you're. So so to see a little circle pop up where he can, uh, if you move the reticle to the circle and punch, and you'll get a nice out. slow motion haymaker and you see his face deform and kind of go all squirrely. I like it. But of course, this is still an in development build we're seeing here. Yes. Um, I can tell you that the PC version will support game pads. Just kick him while he's down, I, John. I did. I can, I'm going to do it again, too. There but now go. that the little prologue fight is over, I'm going to make my way outside to the world of Xenozoink. The, the biggest thing, really, you know, Xenoclash 1 was a pretty linear game, and mm -hmm. uh, Ace Team realized that fans wanted to see this world. I mean, they made a really crazy place here. Yeah. Uh, guarantee you've not seen anything like it unless you played Xenoclash 1. Um, uh, I'll, let the do I'll spare the dog. Not going to start a fight with a dog? Will be nice. How kind of you. I know. <laughs> um, so, you know, they really wanted to focus on exploration. So instead of, you know, the first game where it's really about uh, just the linear story, this is more about exploring the world, and you can sort of see here, 
there's this little totem. Yep. By interacting with it, I get a fancy skill point that I can use to level up my health, my stamina, my strength, and leadership. Mm -hmm. um, leadership helps you recruit allies. Health, obviously, the rest are pretty self-explanatory. Are you working on a makeshift map here? It is. You can see the uh, Halstedum, the uh, main kingdom, then all the way up to Endworld, which was where the, uh, the end of the last game mm -hmm. took place. But question mark? <laughs> Very so, cool, John. Very yeah, coy. there's a there's a lot more story to this game too, and I think it's going to be a pretty eye opening once uh, people get in and really start playing it. All right. So basically, at this point, you can just like run around and pick fights yeah. like a total jerk. Be a pretty misanthropic. You're just uh, like punching and kicking short people for yeah, no reason. Those guys will go out in one hit, so they're pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> just like some evil catharsis. It really is, honestly. Um, see the little quest marker so uh, from the start we're tasked with breaking father mother out of jail mm -hmm. and lo and behold the jail so that's probably the next place you're gonna go to punch hell of dudes yeah but unfortunately and shockingly the jail is locked so we need a key who locks jails For honestly real? what kind of unrealistic fantasy surreal surreal world have they concocted here see birdman i know birdman was a big thing from the trailer where uh, a lot of people enjoyed seeing his giant butt get pile drived um, that pile driver was pretty awesome if you folks haven't seen the trailer check it out right here on GameSpot. and uh john can you just go like beat one more person up for me before we bring this demo to a close sure thing i will gladly oh you know what birdman i'm gonna there you go there don't you go. kick a dog though because for like this is the weird video game phenomenon, right? You yeah. can like be murdering so many people with guns in a game, but you shoot one dog and everyone gets all in arms. Exactly. And you see the little clamshell treasure chest things here. They usually have health items and help stuff. Yeah, that I don't helps know if I'd want to reach into that. It's got <laughs> teeth. It's a clam with teeth. Teeth, demon horns. Hey, hey, Birdman. Oh, he's totally unfazed. Oh, go. kidney punch. Do Birdman have kidneys? I don't know, but you just punched him in it. Oh wow! I, I ran around too much. So, stamina bar, that low one right there, you can see. Oh, he just threw a grenade down and blew you. <laughs> he blew you right up. He did. I, I and, and he pissed off the other guy too. So now that guy's gonna fight me. He's coming in with the high kicks and the bag on his head, which get out of here. Oh, <laughs> I don't even want to deal with you right now. That looks nice. Punch him in his tiny bird neck. Okay. Bam. It's a super effective kick of all he's down. All oh, little toe stomp. Ooh. Oh, Bagman's coming up behind you again. Uh, so <laughs> this is just like, hey, let's go uh, fight, start fights with strange and wonderful creatures. And, uh, and die like a and terrible, sad person. Hopefully not get oh, beat gosh. down, but there you have it. Oh. Uh, John, that's Xeno Clash 2. When can folks get their crazy, punchy, kicky on in this game? Uh, look for it late April, early May. All right, thanks a lot, John. Awesome, thank you, Chris. Sweet.